Hi there. Good morning. It's Lori from Pop Lollipop Paper and Ink. Thanks so much for joining me today for our Wednesday Facebook Live. Um, today I have my pre-order, uh, some of my pre-order items that I wanted to share with you, um, mainly the in colors uh, because they are so beautiful and I just wanted to show you all of the um, products that come in with that. Um, I was expecting another uh, delivery and I was so hoping that it would be here before this video. So um, I may be doing a, let me see if I can get my comments up here. Um, I may be doing a second one tomorrow. I'll just pop on and finish up um, with the stuff that should be coming later today. All right, let me make sure that um, I can share this. Uh, let me make sure that I'm where I'm at and um, come on. Okay, I'm there. Let me share it over to the uh, Lollipop Papers group so that um, they don't have to be switching over and popping over here to find us. Let me see if I can just do that. Uh, I will just take a second. Lollipop papers. There we go. Okay. So thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I'm going to give it just a just a second before um, before I start with the new products so that people um, can pop in. Good morning. If you are here, say good morning so I know you're there. Hi, Carol. How are you? It's cold down here, so I'm assuming in Connecticut it's pretty cold uh, today. I, I don't know. I, I was sitting outside yesterday thinking that, okay, spring is here and that it was nice and warm, and today I'm freezing. Um, all right, so I'm not seeing my comments come up here, so I don't know why, but all right, I can see them on my laptop. So um, if you have, good morning, Sandy. If you have any uh, questions about the products um, as I'm going through them, I'll try to remember to look up and uh, to um, answer them for you if I can. So let's just do our prize patrol um, from last week. And I had the Berry Blessings um, stamp set, which was one of the um, $100 reward products from Celebration. So thank you to everyone for sharing the video last week. And um, so the name I pulled this week is Nancy, Nancy Finnerty. So Nancy, thank you so much for sharing. And um, I do have your address. So I know that I will get this out to you. I have some stuff going out later this afternoon. So I'll be sure to get that out for you. So thank you again for sharing. I appreciate it. So let's see. Oh, good morning, Carmen. Wow, you're up early. Morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Okay, so that's going out this afternoon. That's Nancy Finnerty. Um, now, so for today's prize patrol, I have a full pack of the, this was another uh, very popular SAB item, and uh, it was the Oh So Ombre DSP, the um, 48 pieces of the um, ombre color DSP. So that had a few colors, Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Granny Apple Green, Rococo Rose, and white. So um, so this was very popular, and this is what I will be giving away um, next time. Now, next time is not next week, because I'm not gonna be here next week. We are going on a little vacay uh, down to Florida. So I'm um, so excited about that, but so there'll be no face, there'll be no Facebook Live on Wednesday. But <clears throat> when we come back, I still will pull a name from everything, everybody that shared for this, um, this week's Facebook Live, okay? Thank you again. All right, let me get this out of the way. And um, let's see, thank you for sharing. All right, let's get right in with the products. I wanna start with the in products. Let me go down here and um, I don't know if you had a chance to see them. Um, they've been, you know, I've, I've seen some people post things already um, on YouTube and, and uh, through the demonstrator uh, website. So um, if you if you are a demonstrator, you were able to pre-order from, um, from the new catalog. It was a limited list, but at least it got us to uh, get our hands on uh, most of the in product in color products. So that's what I want to show you first because that's what I'm most excited about and these are I I hope you can um, 
these colors are pretty true, so um, I hope you can um, see them as I see them. I'll start with this one. This is my favorite. If you know me, you know I'm a green girl, so, and if you love mint macaron, you are going to love this. And I have a, I pulled a few sheets to, um, to compare, because sometimes we look at that, and I was like, when I first saw it, I was like, hmm, pretty close to mint macaron. But, so I'll show you later that it's, it's totally different. So we have here, this is called Soft Succulent. This is called Pale Papaya. And you're probably gonna hear me say Pale Paella. I don't know why, I just can't get that out of my head. Um, but it's Pale Papaya, that's the official name. Uh, this here, the darker pink is called Polished Pink. The dark green is an evergreen, well, um, evening evergreen it's called. And this one is looks like purple posy to me. So uh, it's called Fresh Freesia. And um, they probably just got it right this time. And um, they had the formula um, correct, so they went ahead. Maybe it's a little darker than purple posy, I'm not sure. But um, so these are my three, uh, my, my five new colors that I wanted to share with you. So let me show you some of the products that, um, that do come with it. We'll start with my favorite. And you can see, um, you know what, I wanted to just grab a piece of, just a piece of basic white. Let me just grab that here. And, um, well, I don't even need basic white. I'm just gonna use the, uh, my grid paper because I wanted to show you a little uh, sample. So this is the soft succulent. So we have the ink color, we have the blends, the combo, and that's what I wanted to show you. Um, this is the beautiful cardstock. It's a very soft but deep um, pastel. That's how I uh, how I would describe it. And I have my. Um, my ink pad, my refill, the all of the end colors come with this beautiful um, open weave ribbon. And it's not too thick, because it's sometimes the thick ones are a little harder to tie a bow, but look how beautiful that is. And it's soft and it's um, easy to tie and it would lay nice and flat on your um, on your project. So that is that's a beauty. So they have this in um, in each one of the colors. So that was um, Soft Succulent. Now I have the uh, Stampin' Write marker. This comes, uh, this doesn't come by itself. It comes in a pack with all of the uh, five colors. It's, um, it's the 2021, 2023 in color. Uh, stamp and write markers and that number is one five five six three nine in case anyone was interested so you get all five at once it's um, pretty inexpensive I think maybe fifteen dollars for all five of them and um, all right and then the blends markers now the blends now always come in uh, combo packs you we can't get them I'm sorry about that shadow it's just so dark and dreary here today I wanted to um, put a little light on my desk. So anyway, so this is the marker. So this one is the dark soft succulent. And I wanted to show you oh, the light. Very pretty, very pretty. And then this is the marker, beautiful. Okay, so now also, which we were not able to, um, I'm gonna shut that off because that's annoying me. It's too bright and I don't like that shadow. Um, so um, the what we were not able to get is the uh, DSP, the six by six pack of DSP for the in colors, which was um, disappointing, but there was a whole bunch of, of products from the uh, catalog, the pre-order, that were not going to be available right away so we're going to just have to wait and see um, when that can come in but i did want to show you um so this is our new our new color uh, the soft succulent but let me show you the mint macaron because when you look at one by itself you swear that it is um it, it's just <clears throat> excuse me too similar but look at this now 
to me, the mint macaron never looked so green until I put it against this. So this is just a really a softer, but deeper, um, deeper color uh, shade of green. And um, so that, <clears throat> so that's why I wanted to show you the difference between that. So you don't think that it's um, exactly the same. But yeah, green is my favorite. So, all right, let's move on to my next favorite color, which is the pale papaya. And, um, <clears throat> sorry, got a frog in my throat. Again, we have the beautiful uh, sheer ribbon here, the open weave ribbon, and um, that, that just makes it. This color, it also came with another ribbon that was available, and we were able to purchase that on the pre-order. And that is this one here. It's a little thicker, um, both, um, you know, the texture is thicker, and it is wider. This is just called, what is this called? Um, it's just called woven ribbon, um, but it is a beautiful woven piece. And I bet you could... Um, uh, slice this and use it in half and maybe fray the edges. That would be really pretty too. Um, so anyway, I was saying that the DSP is not available, but um, it's definitely there. It's just not available for us to purchase right now with the pre-order. Okay, that's our dark. This is our light. Hope you can see that okay. And this is the marker. That looks a little, a little more yellowish that way, or orangish. But um, this one, I tried. I looked around to see what would I compare this one to, and I actually um, couldn't find anything. So this, this is a standalone. There was, there's nothing that's similar to this. It did remind me of. Uh, two years ago, I think we had Grapefruit Grove, two or three years ago, and um, when I first saw that, I, I thought of that, but then um, I found an old piece of that, and I realized that it is, um, that was much more orangey. This is definitely more of a peach, peach color. So, yeah, so I didn't have anything to compare that for, to you for, <laughs> with it. So, all right, now let's bring in the polished pink. This is bold, this is a little bold. So, um, and let's see, I did have, I had, I pulled out two that I thought maybe would be a little, um, you know, like a, for a good comparison. And this one here is the Melon Mambo. A little darker, but I, I see the kind of the same kind of hue in there. And this one is the, um, Magenta, the Magenta Madness, that was the new color for this year. So you can still see here, it's a totally different, uh, softer color. Now, if I looked at it just by, just on its own, I thought that was pretty bright until I um, saw it, compared it to these other two. So it's always good to do that. So you, you know, you just, you have other options and um, it's all, you know, it just gives you more options. And the fact that we have, you know, everything that uh, coordinates with it so beautifully that um, it's it's a must have. Now I'll have all of this available. Um, I'll go, I'll, I don't have anything on my blog or on, in my uh, newsletter yet, but um, I will be doing an in color club again, like I did last time, last year which really isn't an, even a year ago, but now that we're on a schedule, we'll, um, this is how it's going to be every year. It, this was just a transition year with the catalogs. So, um, oh, that was dark, and then that, the other one was light. Um, so, uh, yeah, so when I do my in, my in Color Club, everybody gets um, a color every month, every, every month. And um, all the information will be on the blog, uh, for sure. Or and it, it will be out in an email next week, I'm hoping. Um, but this is what you would get, actually. You would get a full pack of your color paper. You would also get a stamp pad, the refill, the blend markers, one of the, um, your color of the Stampin' uh, Right markers, and um, the DSP, which is not here, and the ribbon. 
And then also uh, there in the catalog, which we were again, not, um, it was either not on the pre-order list or it wasn't available early, but we were able to, um, we were not able to get the, the in color vellum. It looks beautiful from the, uh, from the, the pictures in the catalog and the um, little designs that you could do with it. So I, I can't wait to get my hands on that. So I'm assuming unless there's a problem with the delivery of that, you know, if they're anticipating things, because I, I try to make it as smooth a process as possible where everyone gets the um, their color every month. I don't want to have to be holding back a specific color. But if everything goes well, that vellum will also be included in the um, In Color Club packages every month. So you get a bunch of goodies um, every single time. So let me do my little uh, fresh freesia here. This is dark. And this is nice because I still use the purple posy. This is light. Um, it's just a tiny bit lighter than the purple. I mean, than the dark one. Um, but the the um, it always blended very nicely with the uh, coordinated very nicely with the Highland Heather. So um, it really wasn't an issue that we couldn't use the um, the uh, purple posy ink because everything else coordinated so pretty. So um, all right, so that's so we have that there too. So we have four of the five colors again. Beautiful. Beautiful ribbon here. Um, I love the ribbon. Oh, there's also, um, which would also be part of the In Color Club pack, is, uh, let me show you these. Um, they're just little faceted, dot, well, jewels they're called. And it, it's one in each of the colors. And uh, it's a little hard to see on that, but you get to see one on each. I actually used them when I did my little sample board here. Um, for each of them and it has like a little bit of a prism uh, look to it so you you the light does reflect each one of them differently so that's cool so you would get your color on this also and all right so we finished with this one we have one more to do and that is the dark green and this is called evening evergreen and it is beautiful. Um, you know, I'm not a dark color girl, but, um, oh, I see some of them are, some of you, yeah. It's, it's the pre-order. Uh, the delivery times are just crazy. Um, but that's why I kind of, I went ahead and I expedited this because I wanted to know that it was going to get here. Unfortunately, my second half, my second order didn't get here when I wanted it to, but I'm just glad that I got this so far. So this is called Evening Evergreen, and it is um, so deep and so uh, true to like a, a forest green that it's going to be perfect for um, Christmas, for holidays. I can just, you know, see it now. That one I did pull, um, first I thought, oh, I'm gonna pull shade, uh, Mossy Meadow, and this, kind of look the same. The light and the dark look the same here. But, you know, it's, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different. So, and then here's the marker. Um, but when I pulled the Mossy Meadow, it was like totally, like, I don't know what I was thinking. It had no, no comparison at all to it. But I did pull out the shaded spruce, which I felt gave me a little bit more of a comparison. So, um, let's see, you can see here. Now, when I, when you look at something and then you think you know what color that is, uh, and then you pull it, you're like blown away. Cause to me, this shaded spruce seemed like it was such a darker color, but you can see that this is so much greener and this has definitely more earth tones to it. And, um, the, the richness of it really shows through on that one. So that is our five, those are our five in colors. This is, um, that's what you would get if for the in color club. Um, we had 
a very successful club considering last year, considering all of the delays with COVID and with all of the new products. So um, I'm, I'm anticipating that it will be a little bit easier this year, hopefully, fingers crossed. So let me show you a few um, of the stamps of the bundles that I got. Um, like I said, I have another one coming today, so I'm gonna pop on tomorrow and quickly, because when I did my pre-order, I completely left off all of my DSP that I had on my list. So, uh, dummy, dummy. But I wanted to, I was just so intent on getting the in colors because um, they just they just make me happy. So this is the first one that I got, the, the um, first bundle, and it was it's called Color and Contour. And the reason it just um, just drew me to it because of the the contemporary look of the flowers um, and the beautiful fonts, you know, very contemporary fonts that that really um, that really excite me. Um, and I love it when it has a little background stamp just to add a little something something when you are uh, you know just needing to fill in a little space. It's two-step stamping, so you can you can leave it plain, you know, black and white, whatever, gray, or you can um, use the second stamp. Now, this is a new way that, this is one of the dies. Now, look at these dies. I mean, this die, this just makes the whole, um, could make your whole card just by cutting. Oh, I just hear my UPS man now, great. Um, so, these are beautiful. This makes a be will make a beautiful border. Make sure you're in there. And this cuts out this gorgeous uh, contemporary flower. So, and the reason I got this was number one on my list because I wanted to make sure that I had my, um, I participate in, um, in swaps, card swaps with other demonstrators. And since I'm going away next week and I, and I wanted to make sure that I had this um, one ready to go uh, for when I'm when I come back so a card swap is just I do it with my team I um, I do it with de other demos and um, it's just you make one design and you make however many people are in that group that are that are uh, in the swap with you so in this case it's 21 so um, I know when I get back at least I have the design done but I'm I have this to um, to put together 21 times but that's why I wanted to, I saw that, um, this beautiful image, and this is one of those uh, dies that I used just for the border, and it has the gorgeous scalloped edge, and it has the stitching on the inside too, so it's just beautiful. Um, and again, I used my first or second favorite color, the uh, pale papaya, and I just layered it on with some gray, uh, smoky slate. So that I was just so glad to have that. And this is another one of those, um, those dies that I just cropped right from this set here. And uh, I love, I just love the, I always did love the, um, the double fonts um, when in, in, any, in any stamp set. So, um, so this was my number one stamp set to get, um, bundle to get. This next one, oh, let me show you now the new way that our stamps are coming um before we had right here um we had the um acetate in between the two the stamps the rubber stamps let me see if i did it here oh i did it on both of these already so um now what they have us do is um it comes the same way it did before but the print, <coughs> excuse me, the print is not on the acetate anymore. The print is actually right onto the cover, onto the, um, the cover sheet that's inside the, the insert. So once you take them off, you don't have to worry about this, putting them back on here and peeling them off. I did put this back on here, but I don't know if that was so smart because um, it was, I was pulling them back up. This one was okay. The other, the other piece I did, um, when I tried to pull it back up again, it really stuck. So I just may save this, and I could use the um, just the thin sheet. But 
This way your stamps stay in place, they're not flying all over, and you know if you're missing a stamp, so you know where everything's gotta go right when you're done. So that's how the new stamps are coming. And um, I think they want to get rid of, you know, what they have in stock first before, obviously all the new products will have it, have it done this way. But um, as far as the other ones, this is how they will be uh, manufactured from here on out. This one is um, uh, hand-penned petals. And I uh, put that in the wrong one. This goes here. So this is penned flowers and dyes. And this, and again, has a beautiful scalloped edge here. That would be beautiful just for the the front the card base or you could just put a, um, a your your first layer with that it has the stitching and it has the scallops Let's see if i can get you a little closer and um and this has this beautiful outline flower and the intricate dies on the inside so i cannot wait to get my hands on that one and again this is to me it's very contemporary um, drawings of the flowers and the um, the fonts again are beautiful so this one has gorgeous DSP with it also which is the one that I picked myself because that was on my list and I forgot to get that so it should be in my delivery today so that's the hand penned petals so um, those are, and I did get another one and I'm not gonna I'll wait till tomorrow to show you that because I was making a lot of mistakes that day because I bought the stamp set meaning to buy the bundle. So I had to go back and that one came with a, um, a punch. So I don't know what I was thinking, but regardless, uh, that'll come t today and hopefully I'll, I can pop on tomorrow and show you. So let me show you now how our twine is coming. Um, I'm very happy to see this because I don't I never understood why we didn't have twine just black and white twine I felt like it should have been a staple so I was using the heck out of the um, snail mail twine that was from the January to June catalog and I was happy with that it was um, it was white and blushing bright I believe or petal pink one of those um, so now you, you can't buy them individually, but you can buy them as a pack here. And it's just called the Baker's Twine Essentials Pack. And it has the crumb cake, white, very vanilla, black, and um, smoky slate, I think this is. But, and one of them, well, two of them come with um, 10 yards, and which I believe it looks like these two, the white and the crumb cake come with 10 yards. On the, on the spool and the others come with five. <clears throat> so you certainly have a lot to choose from and you have, um, you, you'll you have plenty because that 10 yards will, will take you far. Um, okay, I showed you my the little jewels that go with the in colors. And this is another cute little, uh, these are called just loose flower flourishes. And they're not adhesive but look how cute they are. And there's two sizes, a really tiny one. Well, I should use the pink so you can see it better. And then a larger one. But I just love the design, how curvy they are. And you can put these, get these on with either, um, well, this one would be fine with a glue dot. And this one, maybe a glue dot might be a little too big, but um, you could just use your fine tip glue pen and get that on there with uh, your take your pick tool plop it right on top there and that's adorable let me just see if this if you have any questions let me know see if i can um help you okay yeah, it looks like everybody's good i can't see all the questions that's really annoying um i see that there's so many more so you know what if i if i don't see it and i don't acknowledge it um, I guess I'll have to just go back and see it once um, once I'm done with the video and if I can I will I will answer you okay so we also have this is another uh, very cool embellishment that they um, it reminded me of the a clear and uh, frosted epoxy dots 
um, epoxy droplets, I think that was called. But these are like, uh, they're just called essentials, silver and clear epoxy essentials. But they, they're over here. They don't have, um, they're flatter. So I, I like that better, that they're flatter uh, for the design. You don't have to worry about bulk and mailing it. And um, it's cute, it has like circles and then little teardrop, looks like teardrops and um, diamond shapes. You can see that in the middle. So that's very cool. That was in, that's from the new catalog also. For, for all your projects, you could use that. And then I have um, the last thing that I have to show today is the twine, or trim, excuse me, Simply Elegant Trim. And thank goodness for this too, because um, we needed it. We needed something with silver. Uh, we used to have the silver uh, metallic thread, which I used all the time. Um, and this is just, comes in a package. It's the gold and the silver. It's thin, it's thicker than the metallic, than the uh, metallic thread for sure. Um, I would say it's about the same thickness as, as twine, but it seems like it would be very, um, easy to work with also and lay nice and flat. So you can see that there. So there you go. So that was my pretty much my in color pack that I was so happy um, to get. And um, like I said before, I will have um, information out no later than tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Late uh, next week, I'll have it scheduled to go out. And let me put you back here. And um, I, I, I'm so excited about the in color club because it was so fun last year. We made it through. We had a lot of obstacles to get over uh, with the COVID and with just regular um, shipping delays. But we got through it, everyone seemed to enjoy it. Um, how I work it is I need five people, obviously, because there's five colors, um, to join a group. Once that cl cl club closes, then I um, open up another club. So, because I have to make sure I have five. I can't have four, I can't have six. Um, if I get six, then I start another club. So we had a few clubs going uh, throughout the year. And um, by the end of the, of the five months, everybody has the entire uh, collection of the In Color family. The paper, the ink, the refill, the blends, the um, marker, the DSP, the vellum, hopefully, um, and, the, and the gems. So, uh, so it's, a, it's a nice little package to get every, every month. So I'll have that information out there. Be sure that you're on my mailing list uh, for my email so that, and I'll put that link below uh, because that's how you're gonna find out about this. Um, get, get all the information and sign up. Um, I do use a waiting list uh, just so I know how many groups I have. That's worked the best in the past. Um, but I can't actually start charging you or like take the actual registration until, um, until I'm not sure if it's five days or a week before the actual catalog goes live. So it would be a recurring subscription. So when you would do, when you would subscribe, it would be, I would send you a separate um, uh, PayPal button where you, it would just be for five months and it would automatically charge you on the same day every month that you, um, that you originally signed up. And, uh, and then after five, I have it set up so that after five months it ends and it gets, you know, it just closes. So keep your, keep your eye out, get your name on my email list so that you know all about it. Also, I have um, a paper share. I always do a paper share um, with each catalog, the minis and the, and the annual. And I believe I counted 10. I have to go back and, and count that again. Um, so the paper share is, Again, I need four people for, um, this case, four people, not five, uh, for a share. And I take um, the paper, all 12 by 12s, and I quarter it. And everybody gets one quarter of it, of every single uh, pack of DSP that is new in the catalog. This way, you don't have to 
buy a whole pack and realize, well, there's really just a few that I like, or this is not really on the top of my list, or you know, things like that. So, um, so that's why I wanted to make sure that that information will be out too on the email list. So get on that list because that's where you're gonna find out what's happening. So thank you so much for joining me. Let me just check one more time. Um, you're welcome. I'm so glad that I can share it with you. Um, so if you have any questions, leave them here. Hopefully when I'm done, I'll be able to, um, to see all the comments. I can't see them and they're not showing up on my iPad either. So I must've done something wrong. <laughs> um, so anyway, so next week I'm not here. I am, but I'll be checking my emails and I'll be checking on the Facebook and I'll, uh, you know, I'll, I'll know who shared and, and all that stuff and I'll, I'll make a note of it. So, um, but I will see you back here. Um, the following week, that following Wednesday, not sure what the date is, 20th maybe, um, but uh, so I look forward to that. And um, if you do have any questions or anything, you can always contact me. I will be uh, checking my email and, my, and the Facebook page. So thanks again. I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to try to pop on tomorrow once my um, delivery comes, and I'll just show you a few more of those bundles that I ordered and the DSP, which is so beautiful. All right. Have a great day. Stay safe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.